Hello. I plead with President Obama for a federal investigation into unlawful actions by cities and shelters against homeless community members who are treated worse than criminals at times. Please, President Obama, declare a state of emergency to house the increasing population of people without basic housing. Are we all blind or we just don't want to look and see what's really happening out there? Please open empty buildings and empty parking lots for people and their vehicles all across America. People could pay rent of $200 a month or they could work or they could volunteer 10 hours for a 24-7 place to call home. A 10 by 10 cubicle would work in any building. President Obama, please consider the Housing First model, which has been proven to work. You can stop the war on the poorest of the poor in cities all across America. Yes, you can. You're our leader, and please start leading. The city of Santa Barbara and its homeless shelters have been giving one-way bus tickets to people to go elsewhere. Do we really want to be intolerant of others like Disneyland did with the hippies in the 1960s? The Santa Barbara restored a policing program and sending people to other counties because mental health beds were unavailable in Santa Barbara County. Cottage Hospital has been releasing patients too early to the local shelters, saving itself millions and millions. Sounds like dumping patients to me. I realize, of course, that I don't have a good chance of being elected mayor. If I was elected, I could do the job just fine. More public restrooms. I'm concerned about the treatment of our homeless brothers and sisters living in Santa Barbara, where everything must be so perfect for the tourist dollars. Obviously, we need business, but not greed at the expense of caring for the people and the environment. Remember what occurred when the Republicans took over the Board of Supervisors, or recently, the city of Goleta. A 2009 Santa Barbara News Press Republican slate is being heavily marketed to us. From the news press, yellow journalism abounds, lies through omission abound, hate and fear is repeated daily in the newspaper editorials. Check it out, read them. We are facing a Santa Barbara Citizen Kane situation with the news press promoting conservative candidates. Also, a Texas resident is funding a media blitz for corporate over people candidates with $50,000 $50, each. The Santa Barbara news press Republican slate for the city of, Sa of Santa Barbara could be one person said, I'll do everything in my power to get like-minded people elected. Beware of closet Rush Limbaugh's and Shan Hannity's candidates who will increase the takeover of our community through allowing zoning policy changes, short-term greedy, and absolutely no interest in the people of this community. As the planet env environment is at the tipping point, we could do our part locally by fostering a better balance between developers, sustainable agricultural, and our resources. Please vote this election and consider carefully what is at stake beyond the song and dance, glitz, media, gratification, and sophisticated distortions. You'll get what you vote for election month, October 5th through November 3rd. Absentee ballots are going to be mailed out on October 5th. We are losing what is most important to a civil society, the one where our parents grew up, where people helped each other. I talked to Marty Bloom and she agreed it would be a great idea to have a mayor's community outreach breakfast to connect more widely with different people within our community. It would also be a wonderful way to remember Marty, who's always been an advocate for peace and human rights. Possibly on Saturday mornings between 7 and 9 at City Hall before the farmer's market, people could have a cup of coffee and talk to each other. And maybe, just maybe, we can get along a little bit better and understand each other better and have a better community. Thank you very much.